is the first of, well, I hope many videos about this game. So far I'm quite excited. Uh, I've played a lot of the previous games, the, um, what was it called, War Game, uh, but hardly played the direct predecessor. And uh, from what I've seen in testing a little bit, it's really challenging, especially if you want to perform well. And in the, in the Army General mission, um, the divisions you have are, it becomes a real challenge to, to face, um, to, to continue it. Um, personally, if I play something like this, I always try to optimize it. So I'm tempted to load and save a lot, to repeat battles once and, once and again. Um, this time, Thanks, I have to say, thanks to uh, streaming and the videos, I probably won't do this. So um, we will see serious defeats, I guess. But I think we just have to accept it as part of the fun. And um, yeah, the, the, the content here is the, well, the, the circumstances here are Operation Bagration. That was the collapse of the Army Group Center on the Eastern Front that happened right after the Allied invasion in Normandy in 1944 and it uh, became the biggest military defeat in German military history. A um, big part of it is attributed to Adolf Hitler who said that the forces defending the front have to create um, solid places, feste Plätze in German. Uh, where they are to dig in and hold up the enemy. Well, they did, but the Soviets just surrounded them, marched on and uh, pummeled those um, fortified places to the ground until they killed everyone inside or everyone surrendered after they ran out of food and so on and ammo. They weren't able to stop them and with the initiative being on side of the Soviets there was no chance of ever uh, of a successful counter-attack reaching those th those pockets anymore. So this surmounted in a huge military collapse that brought the Soviets too close to the to um, the um, Polish border. And um, we will play here the Orsha um, campaign that is from June 23rd to 26th. And I will start with the German side because um, I really like playing defensive in games like this. I, I enjoy um, setting up defensive perimeters and trying to do my best in this regard. So we will see um, how it is, how this will turn out. I leave it the AI at medium. I'm not, sure, I'm not experienced, so easy might be better, but I think um, we want it to be a challenge, so we just continue like this. June 21st, 1944. On the Western Front, heavy fighting has been taking place for the last two weeks in Normandy. While on the Eastern Front, the situation is much quieter since the end of the Soviet Spring Offensive, which has brought the Red Army to the gates of Belarus. It is in this sector of the front that the Soviets are now secretly building their strength during the early weeks of summer 1944. Codename, Operation Bagration. Its objectives, to trap and destroy the German Army Group Center in order to open the way for the quick capture of Warsaw. To achieve these goals, the Soviet Army intends to crush the main German strongpoints at Vitebsk, Orsha, Mogilev, and Babruisk within the first hours or days of the offensive. are the Germans ready to receive the Soviet assault. Waiting in strong positions they have held all winter against repeated Soviet assaults and reinforced since then. They are confident they can once more break the enemy's offensive. Orsha is the main hub and key of the whole German defensive system and therefore defended by the best troops. 
but the Soviets have learned from their winter failures and have devised new tactics, especially to crack open this stronghold. On June 23rd, in the wake of an artillery and air bombardment such as the Eastern Front has never seen, elite Soviet assault troops crash into the most determined German resistance. Twenty-four hours after the initial Soviet attack on Vitebsk, its garrison is on the verge of collapsing. All signs now point toward Orsha as the next target, which the Soviet 11th Guards Army is about to attack with strong combat engineer support. Orsha is a crucial road and railroad hub, one of the main strong points on the German front. So important is this city that Hitler has earmarked it as a fortress, meaning it has to be defended to the last man. Two of the best German divisions, the 78th Sturm Division and the 25th Panzer Grenadier Division, are defending this sector, ready to counterattack the Soviets wherever they might break through. But their northern flank is held by the 256th Infantry Division, a unit destroyed and rebuilt too many times with too many raw recruits. The Soviet objective will be to take control of the Moscow Minsk Highway in order to break through to our rear near Tolichin. Your mission is to prevent this from happening at all costs. We must retain control of the highway. Primary objective, hold Tolichin until June 29th p.m. Secondary objective, hold Orsha. Okay, so the Soviets are now starting their turn. Yes, we see them advancing here, advancing there. I can't do anything right now and we have the first battle. Um, this is they attack the um, second 195th assault regiment and I can now select two more battalions that are in, that are joining the fight. I will add Stuka dive bombers because we see that they have a lot of armed forces here and I really want to be able to take them out um, possible and when we see the forces I have here is they barely have any anti-tank weapons. Um, what do they have here? Like flak? They yeah. are not really bazooka, so Panzerschreck. Panzerschreck is short range, 250 meters. Um, facing a lot of tanks is, is a huge problem there. The only question is what, what will I take as the third one? So this would be artillery, but I don't think I need that much. I'll probably use the second battalion of infantry to be able to send additional infantry forces if needed. Yeah, because after this, um, if I, if those are defeated, that one will be in the flank. Um, but if we win, they can't attack it anyways. So. I can use them. The interesting part here is that every loss I take is actually um, not going to be replaced, like in reality. I now, I could set like um, the close air support to AI and then move like one of those over here. I tried that in a, in a previous test. The problem is though that um, it also reduces the amount of points you get because the AI gets a part of it. And when you need something in particular, um, that becomes very uncomfortable. So I'm going to take everything and take control of everything. Let's go directly to the tactical battle. Okay, so the goal is to defend as many of those victory points as possible because they give me um, they give me victory points and if the Russians conquer only a fraction of those I will win the battle and um, on the other hand obviously I want to to um, make them suffer as heavy losses as possible now this as this um, division was dug in it has some defensive um, tools defensive positions to set up, unfortunately, um, what I found out is that it's individual for each um, battalion. 
So just because they have a lot of anti-tank guns doesn't mean that any other uh, unit will have a lot of anti-tank guns. And as we can see, we only have two 75mm and 350, and the 39, 37 um, are pretty useless in this phase, as at least shooting from the front. At that time, I mean, the, the 37 got the nickname um, Army Knocker because it, it just knocked on Russian tanks. It didn't kill them. So the point is, what you want to do is all those quad support weapons here, um, they are not supposed to be in the first line. They are supposed to be in the flanks and in the back. And this obviously is kind of a problem as they are all limited to 2,000 meters of range here as we can see in, in this area. So when I set up like a position here, um, this, this up here is the further, furthest it can shoot. And obviously you want them to be on, on, um, in positions where they are camouflaged or, and have a good field of fire. But that is limited a lot by the territory. And from what my understanding, um, it is actually, they actually put an effort in researching the topography and um, displaying it. So I guess if that is correct, the battlefield actually looked like this. There were actually a small few buildings here, and this was actually erased and so on and so forth. So the Russians will come by the roads here, which means that he, if I position something here, it might have a flanking shot over here. So I will put a 50 millimeter. Can I put it here? And take, no. Put it here and then I will be able to shoot here. Um, I will put a 37 here and I will have it fire here. That way it can be surprised obviously if they storm down here, but if anything is driving down here, it's showing flank or even it's rear. And then the, the um, 37 might suddenly be of use again. Um, the 75, now, as said, I'm, I'm kind of cheating a little bit because I, I played this battle a couple of times. Unfortunately, not more. So after this battle, I will be pretty much um, be completely surprised and which will lead to devastating defeats I'm afraid but um, usually a lot of tanks come down here here and um, yeah those are those two are a lot and I mean there are coming a lot of tanks everywhere but the thing is you really need to choose where to put your guns and what I found out this is a very nice position it has light forest so it has some camo and if I put it here, it can shoot down. And if anything is coming down here, it can shoot its flank. And that could be pretty effective. So I'm gonna use then this gun and let it fire this way. And I want a um, machine gun position to defend this here. Um, if they are storming down here, that machine gun is supposed to hold them off. Okay, where else can I put in flanking positions? The problem is a 37 is basically useless from the front unless it's, um, it's, a, it's a transport, um, uh, like a half track or something. And it doesn't even have um, high explosive rounds. So either you have something to shoot at, some tank, or it's useless. Okay, so um, let's put... 50 millimeter, a five centimeter gun here. I put it like this, so it can shoot both directions. Unfortunately, that also means it can be shot from both directions. Um, I'll put one 75 down here, so that is supposed to be like in the background. I want it to be able to shoot up here, so I need to be check. If I put it up here, for instance, it can't shoot that far down. It isn't camouflaged. Uh, where, where could it shoot? Yeah, it can't shoot down here. So putting it up here doesn't make any sense, whereas if I put it here, 
can not only shoot up the road, but also a little to the middle, which might help. Question is where do I put the other 75? Probably here seems like a good choice, because it has a huge field of fire. But then again, huge field of fire also means um, it's being visible from a long distance. Can be shot very easily. seven in here in that forest you can order those um, guns to hold their fire until they are very likely to penetrate the enemy armor and so that is something I want to do to keep it um, to keep it usable to keep it effective for as long as possible thing is though like this for instance would be a nice flanking position up here but if anything is coming from that direction it's completely out in the open and that small forest isn't big enough so I can't like put it here and use the cover like here for instance if I have it just firing over here it can't be shot from up here unless my infantry that is already in here and that is an issue I'm facing a lot but it's, it's probably I guess I have to see it as part of the fun one here. I could put a 50 millimeter up here somewhere. I want it to be able to shoot over here I guess. On the other hand that gun would also need some help. Probably not hurt. Gun pits I hardly ever use, um, but I mean I have them so I can set them up where I'm likely to send reinforcements later, even though I don't really know what much I have to send. That's a different story. Um, here maybe? Yeah, put one here. In theory you want to be careful not not to position it somewhere where the enemy might use it. Because if he has like anti-tank guns that he puts in there, that would um, be a challenge too. I'm good, how are you? Um, the game is really challenging. Um, and I'm not really very good at it, but I think it's really fun. And I like the, the um, degree of realism it shows. It's obviously not fully realistic, but um, it puts an effort to be good. Now, like one of the things I don't know is whether trenches are better protection than deep forest. I guess they are, because they can dug in, whereas forest only protect them from views. But I'm not completely sure about that. So I have, like, what was it, three kilometers, two kilometers? I put some trenches up here to allow for infantry to get in. Can I put some here? Yeah. And some here, because I want to like, um, stop them from pushing forward too much. Um, where else could 
would I need it? I still have 260 meters. Yeah, maybe. Um, no, let's put some here. meters. I have no idea what the minimum size is, probably something like 50 meters or so, for the um, computer to be able to use it, uh, for the units to be able to use it. Okay. Barbed wire slows down everything. I'm playing the Germans here. Um, I try to stop Operation Vagration, and this is the first battle. So, um, barbed wire stops them, uh, not stops them, slows them down a lot. And um, it even slows down uh, tanks. So I I'll probably just put it somewhere where I expect them to advance. There's a lot I have. So. use it fairly freely. Unfortunately, I can't put it over most of the roads. I have to limit myself to some 17 meters on left, so let's put those. Wait, I should have put them here. Let's take that away. Oh, yeah. Because I want them to be not push into this here. Ah, let's do it this way. Okay. What I try to do, but this is like more of a spleen of mine or something. I want them to operate together. That is not necessary. Like the leader here, Schützenführer, um, offers moral support to nearby units, but he doesn't care whether he's from the same company. So you could put him every, anywhere else. But um, yeah. So first I will use the first company on the left flank. They have two machine guns. So let's have one here. Panzerschreck will be like a second line of defense. We will send, we will fight for this up here and send two Schützen and one Sturmschützen unit. I think this will be a main battle field here, so we want the commander here. Actually, as well. Oh no, let's let's leave it here. We can lose this in worst case. Okay, so let's send another one here, and another one here. We have mortars left. Um, let's put one here first, because they cost three points and I only have 46 left. I want artillery support on every flank, um, but I will need to resupply it in time. So I... And I can always order more, order them to come later. Oh, well, let's see. I might send them in early, regardless. Okay, so this is this is a recon um, truck, which is fairly. Um, he has a machine gun, but he's not supposed to fight. So you want it to be at a position where it can has a good field of view. Yeah, so it spots targets for other units without it being um, destroyed. You know me? Really. The thing is, it needs to be camouflaged as it's only a truck, uh, a car. This still looks decent, because then the anti-tank gun can shoot over there. Okay, send one machine gun unit. Leader, who I think the battle for this town will be very tough. So I want that one reinforced a lot. I will send infantry here and here. Those are only ships, and so they mostly rely on carabiner and on, on rifles. And the light machine gun only has two and a half thousand rounds, which will run out, which will run out rather quickly. 
um, unless I can um, pull those units back or have a car come there to reinforce them, they will um, that that machine gun will be useless, and I doubt that I'm able to reinforce them at any point. Okay, the thing is, I could. I have three units left. I could left. I could send them here to fight for this town. Problem is, if they are sending heavy units in, uh, or spot me and use artillery, those units are lost. And to decide whether or not to sacrifice them, just to keep this small, those victory points ticking for me a little longer doesn't is a tough decision. Now the artillery I want to be close enough, but obviously safe from attack, so they have to be invisible. And it seems to be good to put it here. It can only be spotted once they've reached that point, and if they break through here, I'm in big trouble anyways. Mm, let's put the second one here, because here I have the issue that to reinforce them, to send new troops there, it might be difficult because of the, the open field. So I rather have them here right away. Okay, let's, let's continue with the other ones first, before I decide something else. Thing is, do I want them here? No, I want them close to the anti-tank guns. That is where my recall unit will be. Good. Machine gun here. And one mm, a little late back, maybe here. Panzer Schneck. Um, they push through, I want one close here, another one, I don't think they can break through with those two anti-tank guns here, you can never be sure, uh, no, let's not use it right away, this one will be more um, infantry fight because they can close in until here with cover of the trees and then after just a little while they are behind the buildings, so there will be more um, fighting here. Let's try to reinforce that side a little more. Put some infantry here, some here. Mortars. Um, actually, where are they? Yeah. Let's just put them here. 13 points left, that's good. Uh, yeah. Another eight, eight machine guns, that's nice. Okay. So I need to fight for this. And I think if we um, the um, groups will be the squads will be enough for now. Um, if I, I'm always tempted to fight for this, but I, I'm not sure whether it's completely isolated. Um, if they push here I can't reinforce it in any way, so it doesn't seem like a good idea. Let's have that one in reserve here and that somewhere here in the town, maybe. Okay, and we are out of points. So I think we can start the battle now. Yeah, let's do that. All of them can unload. They can unload. 
Uh, let's unload everyone. I mean, those guys would help be helpful in cars to be more mobile, but I think time will um, be, if I need them, they probably need to be as invisible as possible to have a higher chance of survival. Okay, now let's put this one on efficient shot, all the 37 millimeters, because I don't want them to use the front of a T34 and just bounce and give up their position with that. Whereas with that option having them in efficient, they should be um, a little more effective. Okay, this one is. Where was my Let's put that one to an efficient shot. With some luck, that means they're pushing forward enough that he can kill them. There was another one. Should we? Yeah, let's put that one in efficient too. And the thing is, here out in the open, they are they are not to last for long. So I probably want them to be as efficient as possible and not being spotted too early. Okay, let's speed up for a moment and pause again. Now we can send them here and we want to hunt, which is cute. Um, yeah, here I don't have any tanks. Um, you can have tanks later. Depending on some units have tags, and I can um, like use them later, and I can get reinforcements. But generally, it's, it's like in reality, the majority of the units you're fighting with is infantry. Okay, so they are in position here. I will send them. Forward, so forward, march. I think we're ready. Let's go. Okay, I want to get close air support as fast as possible. Okay, objective lost. Mehr Feuerkraft Let's gefällig! Let's get ready to use the artillery. Wie wäre es mit Trommelfeuer? Feindgesicht, ihr Ziel auffassen! Those are recon cars, I think. First ones we lost, we are in shot at already. Is he shooting? No, he isn't shooting. Brauchen Sie Deckungsfeuer? I need to take out those tags. Okay, there we are. We have the first Stuka unit. Let's use it against Bravo the Bravo 4, warte auf Einsatzbefehl. Feind direkt zur eigener Stellung. And, um, Haben Sie Zielkoordinaten auf, Mann? Schubert and Mortars are very useful against tanks. But Mehr Feuerkraft it. gefällig? They are definitely useful against infantry. So let's use them. An alle Einheiten, Feind gesichtet. Okay. Warten auf Feuerkoordinaten. Ziel zerschlagen! MG einsatzbereit! Geschützt bereit, Herr Kommandant! Sieht grad nach oben! Feuer! Auch wen haben Sie es abgesehen? Verdammt! Es hat mich erwischt! Not good. How long till the aircraft here? It's so 
That's the only unit I can conquer. But the problem is, it's very hard to. It's unlikely that I, I'll find the time to push it. Very good. Very good. Okay. Um, no, it's still alive. Okay. Can it like? Yes, it is alive. No, probably won't survive. Haben Sie Zielkoordinaten, Hauptmann? Okay, we can order another unit. Let's have the attack those. Achtung, Feind im Nahbereich. Okay, he doesn't kill them, but at least he's pushing them back. On the right one, Feind gesichtet. Moving again, so let's send it back into the trees to recover and get cover. The pack is still alive, at least, but that one is taken out. Okay. Um, we have more Ziel. bombers ready. Let's um, find direct for eigener Stellung. That covers the other one. Okay, good. Find direct for eigener Stellung. Okay, and this one is a mission. Both are in mission. Okay, we can order the next one. Verstanden. I'll focus und mainly on the Stukas. They don't have any air. Is there any? Supposed to fight. Why is he spotted again? On the way. Fall back. He's not supposed to be spotted. Okay. Um, ignition. Staffel erwartet Befehle. Achtung, der Feind ist in der Nähe. He's going there. Attack him. Feind direkt zur eigenen Stellung. Kehren zurück zum Fliegerort. Okay, taken out. Perfekt. Lass mich raus! We need to take care of those here soon. Tank, anti-tank is still alive. How about this one here? Still alive as well. Perfect. Has he taken out some? I think he has. At least he's pushing them back. Okay, let's move to the next one. Leitstelle, bereit zum Angriff. And have an attack here. Einsatzbereit. I wish I could use the here. Let's fire on the. Geschützbereit, Herr Kommandant. Wir sind verschlagen. Infantry. Mehr Feuerkraft gefällig. All of you. Sanitäter. Einsatzbereit. And he's rec he has recovered. Perfect. Those are ready. So where can we? Where is the strongest force? I should probably take care of those. Führer, die Zugangskraft durch. Noch ist die Luftwaffe nicht am Ende. Okay. That one 
is still going in. Can we take it out? The infantry needs to be repositioned as well. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Um. I'm a little concerned about those pushing up here very aggressively. Um, but yeah, let's attack that one here. It from so over. in the open. And we can even order more. That is, I have not found out whether I'm possible to split up one of those units. I don't think it's possible, because basically you have far too many students. At least unless, until you've, you've suffered losses. How am I supposed to use all of them? It's absurd. It's far too many. And the rest of the front doesn't have any Stukas now at all. So I can send in, I don't know, 20 or something? To one, one battle instead of being at least having the choice to split them up. I don't like that too much. Now one is ready, so we go for this one. That is like a gun ship, only guns. Um, so it's really nice to kill to kill enemy infantry or light units. The only problem is yeah, that one is dead. The only problem is it doesn't uh, switch targets automatically, or at least I haven't found out how. So um, unless I follow what he does all the time, he won't. Um, he will just start, start circling. Okay, let's go up here. Artillery, there is a lot of infantry, so mortars, fire. Okay. Mortars. Mehr Feuerkraft gefällig. 200 abbrechen. Sechs Schuss. Ende. Is he going for the Okay, I'm going to attempt to shoot the Perfect, take it out. Uh, killing those is very nice um, because if you kill those those um, transport um, vehicles. If you kill them before they unload, you kill the whole unit inside. And that's obviously very effective, so that's why I'm using this one for... That's what I use that one for, for instance. I hope to kill a lot of them here. Okay, um, Kill something here, maybe? Yeah, kill that shit. You go attack that. You go attack that. That's the point. No, and we can order two more. This is like, it's far too many now, and I'm concentrating purely on the Stukas, because they don't have anti air. It's, it's kind of too easy. I'm suffering losses, but hardly any, while he loses one tank after the other. Um, the next battles will be less one-sided, though. Okay. That guy is in the open. We go here. Um, artillery, but nothing to shoot at. You guys should not really shoot at anything as well. You are ready, so go bomb those. Where is the gunship? Still Take that one, please. Okay. And that one. Das wird ein Kinderspiel. Okay. Kill something. They have rounds like, what the fuck is this? 7,000 rounds. That's like a little. I'm, I'm not. Correct. Das wird ein Kinderspiel. Halbzeit, ich muss and zurück. Running out. It would have been nice if I had went through there. Okay. Infantry. So mortars open up. Mortars open up. Wait. Yeah, open up on those here. Okay. He's already, they are already out. And you don't, you are not supposed to move, so stay there. That's a problem. Occasionally I, I, I sent my, my artillery to the front because I didn't realize they are out of range. Okay, are you attacking that? <laughs> Verstanden und bestätigt. Can I check that one, please? Der ist hinüber. Der 
Oh yeah, and I can I also order those here. Recon. That seems like a good choice. Let's see what I'm here. And another one right here, maybe. Okay, mission, mission ready. Mm. ISU 122. That one is dangerous. But as we can see, the positioning here, especially thanks to the insane effectively held from the Stukas, is crushing their advance completely. It's pinning them down. Ah, oh, here it's now. It's getting critical here, but hopefully my artillery is able to help. And I can send them forward here. And I can order a redemption. Ready. So. That's why I'm tempted to to give it automatic control for the um, bombers. At some point, you have so many of them that you need to make sure you actually have something to bomb. Wait, that was. Noch ein Zielungswaffe nicht am Ende. How do I catch them? I'll just select them. Schlachtflieger bereit. Those are getting very close. Artillery, open fire. Even though it's probably becoming friendly fire because they are too close. Oh no. You can shoot here. They are full of flames for us. If I allow them to get too close, I'm in big trouble. And the, gun uh, the gunships have arrived. Very nice. Okay, mission, mission, reloading, mission. Ready? Schlachtflieger bereit. For that one. Munition, verdammt, wir brauchen Munition. Einsatz bereit. And shoot it. Verdammt, es hat they are out of ammo, and I guess yeah, the, light the, the MG42 is run, has run out of ammo. Christmas is over. Uh, Christmas war is over, well then. <laughs> I don't think so. Evacuating. Always look for the command vehicles because they give moral boost to the rest. So that's it. Um, artillery could probably shoot those here. Uh, maybe shoot that one. Yeah, I don't know. I should do that. But he's circling it without doing much. So we could attack those recon units there. How about that artillery? left 15 minutes still okay now it's become that's becoming an issue i need to send them forward here because they will kill that one they will kill the anti tank plan. damn it and can i help them 
I have the artillery. Mehr Feuerkraft the mortars, yes, I can reach them. Okay, good. They are losing, that's unfortunate. So I'm sending two right away. Where is my second gun? Can you like hunt those here? And you could open fire on those. Get some recon over here. An Einheiten, fight the strikes of infantry as well, but that is kind of a waste. To a certain degree at least. And that one is here, here is one. Der Tod kommt von oben. Artillerie zu Diensten. Good fire on those as well. Kehren zurück zum Fliegerhorst. Because I sent two, yeah, it's just damaged. That should take him out, perfect. Das ist Left. Yeah, I can't have them push forward. It's possible, in theory, to conquer ah, that front them, to do a counterattack in there. That doesn't seem to make too much sense to push forward right now. Artillerie zu I really need help here. Mehr Feuerkraft gefällig? Kehren zurück zum Fliegerhorn. 
Warten auf Feuerkoordinaten. Start hat gesessen. And can you actually Feind direkt zur eigenen Stellung. But, um, you can Noch ist die Luftwaffe nicht am Ende. Send a recon over here. Auf wen haben sie es abgesehen? And one over here. Haha, so <lacht> das hat gesessen. Führe Tiefflugangriff durch. Zur Stelle, Hauptmann. Okay. Haben Sie Zielkoordinaten, Hauptmann? And the notes. Sanitäter! Staffel erwartet Befehle. Das wird ein Artillerie zu Diensten. Let's bombard that. Feind direkt zur eigenen Stellung. Kehren zurück zum Fliegerhorst. Auf wen haben sie es abgesehen? Noch ist die Luftwaffe nicht am Ende. Rabe 4 ist bereit zum Angriff. Um, 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 um Ah, das hat gesessen. I have so many ready for airstrikes and rather than yes, have them sit around and do nothing. Der Ton kommt von oben. Leitstelle, bereit zum Angriff. Ich habe Befehl für Feuerkoordinaten. Noch ist die Luftwaffe nicht am Ende. Send you here as well and send you here just to make sure those guys are dead. Bewegung! Abstände vergrößern! Und es ist gut überdrohen. Perfekt. Okay. So I, I almost bombed my own unit here because I attacked the ammo truck. Die haben wir hier gemäht. Artillery. Feuerbereit. Sie ist verschlagen. Who those guys? Was sollen wir ohne Munition machen? Haben Sie Zielkoordinaten, Hauptmann? 200 abbrechen. Sechs Schuss. Ende. Auf wen haben Sie es abgesehen? Ah, es hat mich erwischt! Schlachtflieger bereit. Let's send you up here. Much longer. How often I've already sent them to attack it. Ah, es hat mich erwischt! Noch ist die Luftwaffe nicht am Ende. Feind direkt zur eigenen Stellung. Geben Sie mir nur ein Ziel. We need to babysit those. I'd love if they had the like attack attack at will option. I know it would in, if there is anti air, it would be a nightmare because they surely fly into anti air. But in this mission. Be amazing. Zieh den Arsch an, Hans. Das hat gesessen. Staffel erwartet Befehle. Verdammt, es hat mich erwischt. Okay. Feind direkt zur eigenen Stellung. That's fine. Bereit für den Transport. Kehren zurück zum Fliegerort. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Have they destroyed it? Yeah, apparently they probably destroyed it with the ammo drop I conquered. Because I don't see it anymore. Too bad. Would have been nice. 
Um, gunship. Verstanden und bestätigt. Und you, I don't know, I'll take that one. Schlachtflieger bereit. You bomb those. You bomb that guy. Der Tod kommt von oben. One of you finally can kill him. Halbzeit, ich muss zurück. And you go there as well. Staffel erwartet Befehle. You go there. And you go there as well. Der Tod kommt von oben. Noch ist die Luftwaffe nicht am Ende. Halbzeit, ich muss zurück. Okay, Schlachtflieger bereit. Rabe 4, bereit zum Angriff. Okay. <coughs> so yeah, we, we were able to basically hold the front except for that point. Which is okay, I guess. That one is run out of ammo. Okay, so I can have it retreat. What is this? What is what are the what are those doing here? Probably some I gave a retreat order or something. I don't know. Go up here. Can you please kill that guy? Oh, it's already over. Okay. Minor victory. Um let's see. Team stats. I have 11, lost only 11 units and they have lost 266. So they might call it a minor victory. I wouldn't exactly. Okay, so here you can see who killed what and when. But what is more interesting is who killed how many of them. Like this, this one unit has killed all of those. That pack has killed those. See you. That 37 millimeter. Ah, he killed those because he, he shot, he destroyed the car they were transported in. And he killed a T-34. I guess, I don't know where it was, but I guess he was able to shoot into the flank. That guy, that bunker killed a lot of infantry. And as you see, the, the Stukas basically turned everything around. Another 37 mostly infantry so in their transport trucks and another t-34 that is um, equipped with flamethrowers a lot of infantry by that one another machine gun that was quite effective that's that 37 <laughs> that's nice that might have been the one that i positioned on the right side to shoot or, or um, to the middle because I think that position is pretty strong. That 50 millimeter has been very effective as well. But yeah, in general, I don't think that was a bad outcome. And that tank unit should basically be destroyed. I can't, yep, it's gone. Okay, um, that's the next battle, but that's for another day. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, the new game I was playing this time, this time real-time strategy. Um, I, the next battles will be less one-sided, I'm pretty sure about that. I said, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider following and subscribing. Every one of those, or almost every one of those videos is also streamed on Twitch at twitch.tv slash and um, thank you for watching. See you next time.